CJ. In this video, we will be presenting on COVID-19 timeline, the social and economic impacts of COVID-19, and the role of communication technology. Let's start with the first point. 24th January, Malaysia has detected the first COVID case in Johor Bahru. Three Chinese citizens who had entered Malaysia from Singapore on 23rd January has tested positive to COVID-19 and quarantine. For precaution, government decided to temporarily suspend all immigration facilities to Chinese citizens from Wuhan City and Hubei province with immediate effect. At the same time, the Sabah state government also temporarily suspend all scheduled flights from China to Sabah, followed by Sawa state government which bar those people who visited China from entering Sawah. Fourth February, Malaysia bring back 107 Malaysians and their family who strength in Wuhan city. On the next day, Two out of those who had returned to Malaysia through humanitarian aid and disaster relief (HADR) so positive to COVID-19. 16 March, a total of 125 positive COVID cases are reported. 95 new cases are linked to the religious gathering and bring a cumulative total of 553 cases. Prime Ministry. Tan Sri Mohidin Yashin announced a 14-day movement control order MCO from 18 to 31st of March. MCO was extended to phase 2 on 1st of April until 14. On 10 April, Prime Ministry announced a second extension of MCO which began on 15 to 28 of April. MCO was later extended to a fourth phase from 29th April to 12th May. Conditional Movement Control Order CMCO was announced on 4th May and scheduled to end on 9th June. CMCO was then replaced by Recovery Movement Control Order from 10th June to 21st of August. The social impact of COVID-19 is domestic violence. Domestic violence has been risen during the lockdown period and women are mostly the victim to it. During the isolation period. Women are being trapped with their abuser at home, which leads them to have difficulty in seeking help and medical care. Social the social impact of COVID-19 is the discrimination towards the older person and person with disabilities. They are more vulnerable to the infection of COVID-19, especially those with chronic disease like high blood pressure, heart disease, and diabetes. They are struggling from the lockdown and greater health risk as they are less capable to support themselves from this movement control. Education. The closure of education institution results in teaching and learning are undertaken remotely and online platform. Underprivileged students with lack of access to internet might affect their learning. Science stream students and researchers are not able to do their field work and lab work because they are required to stay at home. Physical activities, well-being and sports. People are unable to participate in their regular physical activity outside due to the closure of gym, pools, dance, fitness studio and so on are being closed. All the sports events at all levels has been postponed or cancelled to safeguard the health of the athletes and players involved. That's all for social impact of COVID-19. So, come to the economic impacts of COVID-19. For the SMES part, the COVID-19 outbreak pushes the world economy into a recession. Many SMES businesses go bankruptcy and be the disruption and the workers lost their jobs. This is because they are still obligated to pay salaries, rents and loans while they have only little to zero revenues. Mass employees are asked to take unpaid leave beginning April as people are not traveling. The economy might take months or years to have a full recovery. So for the tourism, COVID-19 has halted tourism industry, particularly airlines and hotel businesses, as citizens and foreigners are not traveling. 
According to Burnham 2020, the country's tourism and culture industries have suffered losses amount to around 45 billion ringgit Malaysia in the first half of this year. Wage cut and unpaid leases are the only chance to save jobs. However, some hotels are used as a quarantine centers for Malaysians returning from abroad to strengthen the economy. Even though COVID-19 brings a lot of negative impacts on economic, it also creates opportunities to some businesses. NCO has spurred acceleration in professional cleaning services, career, and food delivery services. Food delivery services, for example, food Benda, grab food and courier deliveries, for example, Post Malaysia, Skynet, and Ninja Wen, are seeing unprecedented demand. The businesses create more job opportunities to meet the rising demand. The high demand for groups boost from the pandemic as well as astonishing surge in top groups here have drove top growth to become the second biggest companies in Malaysia in a short time. Prihatin Economy Stimulus Package ESP has been introduced to relieve the burden of people from the economic impact. BPN assistance to benefit the B40 and M40 community. Higher education students are provided a one-off cash assistance of 200 ringgit Malaysia. The government in partnership with Tenaga National Berhad TNB offered electricity bill discounts to domestic users. Communication technology takes a very important role in our daily lives, especially during the MCO period. It allows people to take safe social distancing. For instance, business can be operated remotely and people can work from home to cut risk of the spreading coronavirus. Besides, they can also communicate or have a remote meeting using video conferencing software such as Microsoft Teams, Google Hangs Up, Zoom, Skype, and so on. Due to the COVID-19, video class have been changed to online class. With communication technology, it allows students to study from home. They can surf the internet to get whatever information they want. There are also more and more webinars with different topics, online trainings, business virtual advisory services available for learning. Furthermore, it helps business in turning digitalization. This is because people nowadays tend to spend time online or shop online through e-commerce sites such as Shopee, Lazada, Pijimo, Lelong, and so forth. Ramadan bazaars also have been brought to Shopee by Slango and Parrot Governments to market the Raya cookies, snacks, clothes, and home decoration items. Communication technology also permits people to stay connected regardless of time and location. People can utilize WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, and WeChat to virtually communicate with their friends and family. They can share their happy moments with them in the forms of words, audio, and picture, even though they are not being together. Besides, they can send messages and receive feedbacks through emails, calls, or messages. It also allows people to express themselves. They can speak their mind and share their talents with the world because there are many platforms available for them to create content that people are looking for. For example, they can showcase their culinary skills and recipes like how to make a cheesecake through Facebook or YouTube. More importantly, income can be generated through communication technology. People can sell things online, do online surveys, or start their own blogs. Their skills can also be turned into an alternative revenue streams by teaching people on baking, cooking, doing yoga, makeup, and so forth that are worth learning and earn money from that. That's all for our presentation. Thank you.